Hello everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. I'm Kevin. Today I'm gonna to be installing an entire solar panel kit on my Toyota Tacoma. Before I get too far into this video, shout out to joytotus.com. They're sponsoring this video. They gave me the solar panel as well as the solar charge controller, the two most expensive things uh, for this kit. Um, they have an online store on Amazon called Bogue RV, and you can get the same stuff that I have from their uh, Amazon store. I'll put their link in the description and of course all the links to everything that I bought for this kit. Here's the solar panel. It is 170 watts. It is very comparable to Renogy solar panels and I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually made in the um, same factory. I've owned quite a few Renogy solar panels and this is pretty much a clone. There's some information if you want to pause that. And there's the brand of the solar panel if you want to go on Amazon, check out their store. This retails for about $160, which is less than a dollar a watt. Um, it used to be, for a good solar panel, you wanted to spend a dollar a watt. So if you got a 100 watt Renogy solar panel and you paid $115 for it, you're doing pretty good. But uh, this one is actually coming in at under a dollar a watt. And as far as I can tell, quality and everything, it's the same as any of its competition. So we won't know the uh, efficiency of the solar panel until we get hooked up, of course. Here's the solar charge controller that they sent me. It's an MPPT charge controller. It is 30% more efficient than the other standard style charge controllers. The unique thing about this is that it has a remote meter on it. So no matter where I decide to mount the actual charge controller, I can always have this meter run inside the cab of the truck, or I can have it run inside a camper or the topper um, on the bed of my truck, I can have it in there. So if I'm in there laying down, trying to keep, you know, out of the summer sun, I can see how uh, how efficient it is and how much it's charging the batteries in the truck. Here's the user manual. If you want to pause and zoom in on there, you can kind of get some information about it. I'm not really going to go over that. Here's the charge controller in all its glory. Besides the solar charge controller and the solar panel itself. I went ahead and got some uh, mounting feet. These are actually gonna go on the solar panel, just like so. That way I can mount this to the roof of my top right here. And I'm not gonna screw it to the roof or anything like that. I'm actually gonna use some 3M tape and uh, tape it to the roof of the truck. Other than that item, the last thing I needed was some wire to run from the solar panel to the charge controller and then from the charge controller to the battery of the truck. So I have the feet on, as well as the 3M tape placed on the pads. It's gonna to touch the roof of the truck. So the next step is to plug in the wires to the connectors right there, set the panel on the roof, find a spot where I wanna mount it, peel the tape off, mount the panel. There's the solar panel mounted on the roof. As you can tell, it's pretty sleek and it is not taller than the roof rack that I have. So if I put a kayak on top of there, and it hangs over the solar panel, it's not gonna be hitting it. So I got the wires going between the bed and the cab. They gotta get zip tied on the inside of the frame rail. And the solar charge controller is gonna get mounted right here on top of the uh, fuse box. I'm not sure where I'm gonna mount this. I might not even use it unless I actually just wanna check the readings. Um, it's not really worth running to put inside the cab because if you're gonna be inside the cab driving, you're not even gonna be worried about the solar because you're gonna be using the alternator on the engine to charge the battery anyway, so. Um, if I'm camping and I'm curious, I can always pop the hood, plug this in, and just, you know, set off to the side, or just run it to the outside of the front where the bumper is and just put the hood back down or something if I just wanted to know, uh, how much my refrigerator is using and stuff like that. So, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this and run the wires on the inside of the frame rails. So I have everything set up. I'm just gonna flip through the settings real quick. Excuse the rat's nest of a wiring job. I gotta tuck some of these wires and hide them underneath. But everything's hooked up. These three lights right here are lit up, indicating that everything's hooked up correctly. We have juice coming in, we have juice going out. And most importantly, this light right here on the end is lit up, indicating that I have it set for a flooded battery, which is the factory battery. The next step and final step for this uh, solar kit would be buying a nice deep cycle battery. So at least 100 amp hours is what I want. So now that it's all hooked up and the battery's at 100%, it is finally time to turn on my refrigerator. And it should be set, 
Should be set for like 28 degrees, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, 28 degrees right there. So now I usually leave this on full time. As you guys know, before I had this topper in the drawers and everything, I had a bed rack. I had my refrigerator in the bed out in the open and elements full time. And I had a 100 amp hour Renogy solar panel before I got this one that was just sent to me. And this refrigerator ran full time 24 seven the entire year and a half it was back here and never failed or anything, never shut off once. So I know it's gonna do really good with this 170 watt solar panel. So this is gonna wrap up the solar kit. And thank you Joy Totus and Booge RV for sending me the solar panel and the charge controller. Those are some of the main expensive components, minus the battery. So stay tuned for a few more videos. Uh, once I get familiar with the system, I'll show you guys some videos how efficient it can be. And also I'm gonna compare the solar panel to a Renogy solar panel of the same wattage uh, the next time I came with Steve. So uh, stay tuned for that. And thanks for watching guys.